It's story time! Hey guys, I'm Wooly from the Shave Sheep, and I guess it's time for me to tell you guys a story. So, I was probably six or seven at the time when this happened. I was playing a game with my sister on the Wii, I think it was. I think we were playing like Wii Sports or something. And, no, Mario Party. And my sister, she, uh, she had never gotten close to beating me in this game. And so I'm sitting on the coffee table having fun kicking her butt. And my dad comes over without me noticing and starts playing for her uh, right at the start of the game. So she ended up beating me. And I got so mad. I'm sitting there on the coffee table just shaking my remote. <laughs> I'm okay. <clears throat> Yeah, so I was uh, sitting on the coffee table, not leaning back anymore, um, shaking my remote really hard, and I fell off, and I forget what I hit, but I think it was like right here, and it hurt like the next like two weeks um, or something. Like now, now, to this day on, I do not sit on the coffee table when playing games because like it, it hurt like really bad, and I don't trust my dad anymore. I'm on All right, this next story I'm gonna tell you guys probably happened like a month ago. It it wasn't funny, but it kind of was at the same time. Well, to the people watching anyway. So a month ago, I went out to Mesa with Clips and his, a friend of ours and his two younger sisters. And we were all uh, jumping bikes. So I'm getting really confident. Like when we first got there, I was scared to death. Didn't think I could do any of the jumps. But as I kept going through, I was getting like extremely confident. So I think it was like, the last two or three jumps, or like second to last jump or go around uh, till we left. And so I was going down this hill like full speed, making all the jumps, everything. And I get to like, I think it was the second to last jump. I like flew in the air so high, I probably landed like a good five feet away from the jump. And when I landed, the bike went from like this in air to this. It hit and fell over sideways, except that was the bike, not me. I flew through the air, landed on another jump, I think, going like up it and stuff. So I slid like this going up, and then I slid back down the jump. I mean, it wasn't that big of a jump the uh, one I went, was sliding down, but oh, it hurt, because I cut like right here, 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 my legs, because I didn't have any pads on it. All I had on was my helmet. But yeah, I, oh, it hurt. I, I'm not sure I want to go there. Again. Hey guys, I'm Cliffs, now it's time for my story. So, my story takes place when I was like six, I think, around six years old. No, not, yeah, no, around, around <laughs> seven, I think. Uh, so I was in this place called Sugar Mountain, and like, I do a lot of downhill mountain biking stuff, like down giant, huge, muddy mountain stuff. Um, and so, but in the winter, that place is a ski resort. And me and my dad, we were going for a race, and we were trying to find my race course. So we're going down the ski slopes, which is filled with a bunch of potholes. And so he says, follow right behind me, okay? Do not just stay right behind me. I'm like, okay, okay. And so we start going down, and we're moving, like, just hauling butt. And I'm on a tiny, like, a, a pretty small bike. Uh, I'm just going, and I go slightly, slightly to the rest, left of him, and I hit a giant pothole and just tumble past him. My dad said he just sees my bike, but not me. I just, I just, my bike just takes off without me. And I'm just, blah, blah, I'm surprised I do not find another pothole with my body. 
because I would have been dead. I would not be I would not be here making videos. Yeah, so that happened. So my and I was wearing a full face helmet helmet, which if you don't know what that is, is a helmet except it has like it's what you see dirt bike riders wear. And yeah, just dirt bike riders and stuff. The big helmet with this stuff on it. And but my face still got bruised and stuff, got cuts all over my face somehow. That's how hard I hit. That's just like my face pounding into the ground. So that's that. That's that story. Now, fast forward, like not even a week later, I'm back home, and so my face is all bruised up, but it's sort of healing still, and it looks like somebody just punched me a million times in the face. <clears throat> so there's this, uh, what is it called? A uh, oh, a salesman coming. Like my dad knew that was coming somehow. He said he was coming. And he told me to tell him, he's going to ask you about your bruises and stuff, so make sure you tell him, look down real sad and say, I fell down some stairs. Which, for some people, if you don't know what that means, that means that's kind of like what abusive parents tell you to say once your face is all busted up and stuff. Yes, exactly, that's the point of the story. So, like, you tell me just, you tell me... He told me to tell the salesman that I fell down some stairs. So, uh, the mailman gets here, and uh, I answer the door, I'm like, hi, and then he's like, hey little buddy, what's going on? Oh, what happened to your face? And I was like, I looked at him, I was like, I fell down some stairs, and he gives my dad the dirtiest look, like, oh. He, like, he's like, I hate you. And my dad, me and my, da me and my dad, we kept straight face for a little bit, and then we just busted out laughing, and he was so confused. It was, it was great. Yeah, uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's my dad. He, he told me. Yeah, so that's my story. Yeah, thanks for watching.